begin this afternoon with breaking news. New York City Mayor Eric Adams announcing he has tested positive for COVID-19. It comes just hours after Adams held a press conference. He's trying to get back to business as investigations swirl around his inner circle and calls grow louder for the police commissioner to resign. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg is in the newsroom right now with the breaking details. Lauren. Liz and David, the mayor said he wasn't feeling well, and now we know it was because he has COVID. After testing positive, Adams canceled the rest of his schedule for the day. But before his diagnosis, he was out and about meeting people and conducting business as usual. But there are questions and concerns about his inner circle. In the last several days, key members of his team had their homes raided and were forced to surrender their electronics, including their laptops and cell phones, to the FBI. Deputy Mayor for Public Safety Phil Banks and First Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright, among those whose homes were searched. Sources say it's part of a federal investigation into potential influence peddling in the Adams administration. And there's another investigation, that one into the NYPD, and that seems focused on Commissioner Edward Caban. He surrendered his phone today, too, rather, as did other ranking members of the NYPD. Insiders say that investigation has to do with nightlife enforcement in the city and whether his brother used his relationship to gain business, providing security to nightclubs. Several city council members are demanding that Caban resign. Today, the mayor acknowledged that there are rumors that he will step down, but says that he is not focused on those. You can never keep up with the with the with the rumors uh, that you hear. There was nothing that came from me that fed those rumors at all. We have a job to do to continue to keep the city safe. We've done an amazing job in doing that, and we're going to continue to make sure this remains the safest big city in America. Caban has not made any public statements since these latest revelations, and he did hold his regular Monday afternoon staff meeting at police headquarters. Meanwhile, the mayor says that he plans to keep working through COVID. He will work from Gracie Mansion, and he will miss the September 11th remembrance ceremony.